Marilyn with Yacht World, and we're here on Biscayne Bay with Fabrizio Cordova on his new Nortec 390. And it's beautifully done in carbon fiber, black, and orange accents. When this boat takes off, it can take off. And that's due to these 450 racing engines. We've felt the torque on these as we took off getting into Biscayne Bay. This boat has been clocked at 87 miles per hour on a great day, but the owner really likes to cruise 50 mile an hour, maybe 35 if you're being conservative. So let's take a little tour and let's start by catching some rays up in the bow. Up here in the bow, you've got lots of room for seating. We've got really comfortable bow seating with backrests. And a signature item for Nortec is they provide a lot of mesh storage. This is great for stashing all your little incidentals while you're boating. And this boat really isn't set up as a fishing boat at all. This is strictly pleasure, so there's lots of cup holders instead of rod holders. The table raises and lowers hydraulically. So here you can have dining, you can lower it down to the floor and open the space, or you can bring the table halfway down and use it for a big sun pad. You've also got the big sun pad lounge here with armrests and more cup holders and a lot of carbon fiber accents. There are a lot of little details on this boat, like you'll see the, the black trim with the combing and orange piping. There's orange striping around the T-top. So the boat really has the personality of the owner. And we'll see more customization as we go back to the helm. Let's go take a look. Nortec adds a lot of custom metal work to anchor the hard top to the hull. They also offer this as a safety hold as well as the grab handles that are, that are on the gunnel. You'll see here too to port we have a head that doubles also as a small cabin. Lots of storage and places to put your water toys. This T-top is also set up with a FLIR night vision system. It has LED lighting and it also has four extra speakers for this very serious JL audio system. This Nortec helm is set up to be very simple with twin Garmin screens, the Mercury instrumentation, and the JL Audio Media Center. All carbon fiber dash, leather steering wheel, and the bolster seats are made really ergonomically. You can settle back into the cushion because they're concave, but you can also pull them down, sit. It's got that automotive feel with the diamond stitching. And again, all your black, gray, and orange trim. Lots of cup holders. And as I mentioned, the T-top really has an array of speakers. And again, carbon fiber used, lots of extra storage. And below, there's even more of the mesh storage. So there's compartments for everything you want to bring on board. The second row of seating adds comfort and safety for the younger children. And in front of that is a large storage area so you have room to haul everybody's gear. The back deck also has a very nice big bench seat. And so let's go check that area out next. The aft deck has lots of seating. This pull-out cooler doubles as a, as a bench seat for two, and it also slides back to give you a little bit more room, access to your bilge. What could be fish boxes in this boat are just large storage areas in the floor. And this back bench could easily fit six people, all snugly tucked in there. Nortec adds some other features, like the starboard dive door, the padded non-skid flooring, and they also have a multi-engine flush system, so it really makes it convenient to be able to flush all your engines at once. If you're buying a Nortec, you're buying the boat for performance. And the 450 racing engines have become very popular and the power of choice for many Nortec owners. And this owner has outfitted this boat ideally for his family to be able to get out to the sandbar, have a great time, and get back safely. So let's head to Elliott Key.